Hey guys, Justin here. I hear from a lot of you that you don't want to use a quilt because you're afraid you're going to get cold when camping. Well, I'm out on a trip this weekend with Marty up north and Maddie outdoors, and we're heading out into the Canadian wilderness to camp for an overnighter, and the temperatures are forecasted to be sub-zero, or minus 15 degrees Celsius, and I'm bringing my quilt. I want to take my quilt out in those temperatures, show you guys that you can stay warm and freezing, or even sub-zero, and also talk about what you need to do in order to stay warm in those temperatures. So let's get the snowshoes on. We'll head to camp and then I'll set up my sleep system and talk about what you need to do when using a quilt in order to not freeze to death when on the trail. All right, so we made it to camp. Check out that view. That's a pretty beautiful view to wake up to. We're gonna talk about my sleep system. First up, we have the Thermarest X-Therm sleeping pad. Super warm sleeping pad. This is a size large, so 25 inches wide. And it has a 6.7 R value, which is crazy and is really light. It has one of the best, if not the best, R value to weight ratios out there. Next up here, we have my main quilt. This is an Enlightened Equipment Enigma 20 down quilt. So this is gonna be my main insulation when I'm sleeping tonight. And then we, I also have another quilt to go on top of it, the Revelation 50, also by Enlightened Equipment. So here we have both quilts layered on top of each other. Combined, these quilts give me a temperature rating of, of about minus 15 degrees Celsius or below zero degrees Fahrenheit. And that's if you're using the quilts properly. So now I wanna go over how to use quilts in order to stay warm while you're using them in sub-zero temperatures. There's a lot of other things that are important if you're winter camping or to stay warm. Things like setting up your tent out of the wind, doing some jumping jacks or activity right before you go to bed, putting a hot water bottle in the foot of your sleeping bag or quilt, as well as things like eating a meal before bed. But I wanna focus just on quilts and how to stay warm when using them. The number one thing and probably the most overlooked is to have a warm sleeping pad. So my sleeping pad has an R value of 6.7. When companies are looking at comfort rating and doing R value testing, they use sleeping pads that have an R value of 4.7. So you have to keep that in mind when looking at how warm you're gonna be using your quilt. For winter camping, I like to have at least an R value of five for my sleeping pad. And if I have something lower, then I'll layer another sleeping pad underneath it or a closed cell foam pad just to add a little bit of extra warmth there. The next thing is to make sure that you have a quilt that's warm enough. Most quilt manufacturers are pretty good about having a comfort rating for their quilts and advertising that as opposed to a lower limit like a lot of big sleeping bag manufacturers. But you wanna make sure that you have the right quilt for the temperatures that you're gonna be going out in. Layering your quilts is another way to get a little bit more temperature rating out of them. I have here a 50 degree synthetic quilt and synthetic quilts are nice to use as the top layer because they manage moisture a little bit better. So as moisture is leaving your body and going through the quilts and trying to exit into the atmosphere, it might get, get trapped in the outer layer here and the synthetic quilt really helps with that. Something to keep in mind with the layering of quilts is you want your top quilt to be lighter than the bottom quilt because if you have a heavier top quilt, it's gonna really compress that down in the lower quilt and that's gonna not make you as warm when you're sleeping. Another really important thing when using quilts in order to manage temperature is you wanna eliminate drafts. And that's really important and why a lot of companies will send you pad straps like you see here going around the, the sleeping pad here. So these pad straps keep this, the quilt locked into the sleeping pad and wrapped around you so that you don't have any air and wind drafts coming up and cooling you off in the middle of the night. What's really nice about the Enlightened Equipment system is that they sell what they call a sub-zero pad strap where you can clip in both quilts into one pad strap and it keeps them really nice and snug and layered on top of your sleeping pad. Another thing to keep in mind when it comes to drafts is what kind of foot box you get on your quilt. So the Revelation here has a zippered foot box and that could potentially allow a few more drafts in. Whereas if you have an enclosed foot box and sew and shut foot box like I have on my Enigma, then you're gonna have less draft potential coming into your foot box and cooling your feet off. You also, another thing that companies offer is a draft collar on the neck here. So that just adds a little bit more closure around your neck when you're sleeping so that you don't have any drafts coming in through there. And basically every quilt manufacturer will also have a snap at the neck so that you can put it around your neck, snap it shut, and get a nice good seal when you're sleeping. As you'll notice, the quilts, they don't have a hood like a lot of mummy sleeping bags. So you wanna make sure that you're keeping your head warm 
And the best way to do that is to use a toque as well as a hood with your down jacket if you're wearing one or if you're not wearing a down jacket with a hood, you can actually buy separate down hoods from different companies like Enlighten Equipment. If you keep those things in mind, you should stay toasty warm when using a quilt in below freezing temperatures or even sub-zero. I'm gonna be using this quilt tonight. I'll let you know tomorrow morning how I do. It's supposed to get down to minus 15 degrees Celsius, like I said, but I'm anticipating being nice and warm using this really warm sleeping pad as well as the nice layered quilt system here. Morning guys, beautiful view that we're waking up to here. This is the down hood that I wore last night. So this is uh, made by 3FUL, you can get on AliExpress. And Lightning Equipment also makes one that's really nice. But this kept me toasty warm last night. So it got down to about minus 19 degrees Celsius and I was just warm enough. If it got any colder than minus 19 Celsius, I probably would have had to throw on my down jacket and down pants. But as it was, I stayed nice and warm. So super cold temperatures and I slept great using a quilt. So don't let uh, the fear of getting cold hold you back from using a quilt. It's not that scary. We're gonna pack up camp and get out of here. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you guys next time.